So one of my favorite southern snacks is boiled peanuts. I just love boiled peanuts and they are best when they are fresh dug from the garden. And you call those peanuts green peanuts and that's because they have a higher moisture content than um, peanuts which have been dried. And so today I'd love to share with you my experience growing peanuts in a square foot garden. This information is not in the book so I'll just share with you what I did. So at the grocery store where I live, I can usually get Virginia peanuts or Valencia peanuts. Regardless of which ones you want to buy, just know it is important to make sure you are getting raw peanuts and not roasted. Now your Valencia peanuts are much smaller than the Virginia and they also are a little bit more sweet. So here on the left, this Valencia peanut has three nuts in the shell. And on the right, we have the Virginia, which has two nuts in the shell. Something else to be aware of is that some peanuts grow a runner type or a bush type. And you really, for a square foot garden, want the bush type so it grows tall and upright versus a runner, which might take up a lot of your bed. But when you're buying at the grocery store, there's really no way to know that, but just know that it's rare that you will have a runner type. So go ahead and shell your nuts and then we'll soak those in water for about 10 minutes and then we'll just transfer those to a damp paper towel and put these in a Ziploc bag. So for this video, I sprouted both the Virginia type and the Valencia and I planted only the Virginia type in my square foot garden. So that's what you'll see me planting here later in the video. Now under the right conditions, you'll notice that these peanuts will sprout in about a week and they like the temperature of around 65 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. And to help them along, I put them on a seed warming mat um, and then I put them a towel on top of that and then the bag on top of there because sometimes those warming mats can get just a little bit too warm. So I like to do it that way. And in about one week, they were sprouting both my Virginia and my Valencia. So you'll want to plant your sprouted peanuts in your garden when your soil temperature has reached around 65 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the perfect time. And just so you know, you're going to need a long period of warm days for those peanuts to mature. So make sure you're, you have at least 120 to 150 days of warm frost free temperatures and for me with these Virginia type I needed at least 150 days I harvested them at around 165 days I think I'm not sure but they were probably ready at around 150 now when I plant my peanuts here and as many of you have seen me do in some of my recent videos I no longer use the grid. However, I think it's a great idea and I used it when I first started square foot gardening because it really helps you space out your uh, garden bed into 12 inch squares. But today I will usually just measure off my square with some 12 inch wooden skewers or some rulers. So I measured off my square and now I just check my soil a little bit and it looks like I might need a little bit more vermiculite in here only because those peanuts really like a lot of moisture in order to mature into a full nut. And you know the vermiculite, the little coarse vermiculite is almost like a little sponge. It will absorb some water and the rest will drain away. Uh, so I mixed in a little bit more compost with some of the coarse vermiculite and that's just how I preferred to do this based on the condition of my soil. And so now we want to plant them about two inches deep with the sprouted side pointing down. And we'll smooth off the top a little bit here, give it a marker so that I don't go back and plant something else over it. And then just with some sun warmed water, we'll moisten it real well. And off come the skewers. Now about two weeks later, this is what they looked like. They popped up and they were growing real well. Now during the growth period of the peanut plants, you will notice a lot of little yellow flowers on the plant. And from those yellow flowers are going to grow what are called pegs. And the pegs will grow down towards the soil. 
and then the actual peanut will begin to form under the soil. So it's very interesting in that this is not a tree nut, obviously, um, and it actually grows under the ground. A lot of places in the world, peanuts are actually called ground nuts. Now here in the square foot garden, this is my mature peanut plant about 165 days after I planted them. Now I kept them watered. You want to make sure your peanut plants are watered very well so that those nuts will form. But you'll notice here I marked for you just a couple of the pegs so that you could see how they were growing down and in under the soil. And at this point they have kind of turn brown. They look a little bit like a stick and there's a lot of these in here. I didn't point all of them out. But those are your pegs and they used to be the little flowers. And so I decided to harvest them and they're super easy to harvest. Just pull them right up out of the soil and these will be the best spoiled peanuts you've ever had. So I hope you're able to try growing peanuts and also try our southern way of enjoying them, which is boiling them in some salted brine. And I have a recipe on my channel if you'd like to see how I boil them. So thank you so much for watching and y'all have a beautiful day.